Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to rotate the chest and shoulders through impact. All right guys, so let's talk about how to rotate the chest and shoulders through impact. Okay, so um, a couple pieces that I wanna talk about here, we're gonna show you from down the line, couple things and then we'll go over and we'll show you from face on what this looks like. So how to rotate the chest and shoulders during the downswing. Now uh, let's go a uh, through a couple things here, kind of big picture and then we'll, we'll go into the details. What I'd like to see, and if we look at the best players, right, and the best ball strikers, we'll go up to the top of the swing and get us down to impact, okay? If we look at impact of good ball strikers, their body is open to the target, okay, that's first things first. How much open? Typically, we'll see the hips open anywhere between 20, 30, 40 degrees. We'll call that 40, 45 degrees on average, okay? And the shoulders also are going to be open. So one of the biggest misconceptions that I had when I was growing up was that I really wanted to open my hips and keep my shoulders closed, right? So I thought, you know, hey, I, I kind of want to keep my back to the target for a while and open my hips, and well, in fact, when I started to look at measurements of the best players, the best players, not only do they open their hips, but they also open their shoulders quite a bit to the tune of, you know, a lot of them that I see might be 15, 20, even 30 degrees open with their shoulders. What I mean is their hips are not all that much more open than their shoulders. What I interpret that to be, and what I found to work best for feel-wise, is that I want you guys opening everything from the top of the backswing, uh, everything. I want not only your hips to open, I want your chest to point forward, I want your shoulders open, okay? And I want them open because that's what the best players do. Now, when you watch good players from down the line, it gets a little tricky because we have protraction and retraction of the shoulder blade. So I can sort of, I can push my shoulder blades forward and I can pull my shoulder blades back. Now, if I take my shoulders here and they're aligned square and I just push my shoulder blade in, now it appears my shoulders are pointed much more to the right. They're not, I didn't change my shoulder line, I just pulled my shoulder blade in. And the opposite's true, if I stand here and I pull my shoulder blade back, I didn't open my shoulder line, I just pulled my shoulder back, it appears more open. Why is that relevant? When you watch during the downswing and it might appear like their shoulders are more square to the target, they're not. Their shoulder blades are just pushed forward, okay? So you get the illusion the illusion that the shoulders stay very square. I do not like, I do not like any idea of keeping your back towards the target and trying to get your arms and hands down in front. I don't like the idea that um, you should keep your shoulders really square like this. I don't like any of that. I've seen other top teachers and some other people say that, promote that and do that. And if that works for you, that's fine. Doesn't work for me, doesn't work for the people I coach. Not what the best players do, I don't like it. I like everything wide open. With that, how do you do this deal? How do you rotate your chest? How do you rotate your shoulders? I'm saying all that to preface it because I want you to understand, in your mind, the goal is to open everything. I want you to open and get your chest to the target as soon as humanly possible. So when I get to the top of my swing, I want my shirt buttons pointed towards the target as quick as possible. That's my answer. How quick or how do I rotate my shoulders? I want you to open your shoulders as fast as humanly possible. Can you open your chest and shoulders too much? My answer is no. But Eric, what if I go to the top? I love I talk to myself in third person. I go to the top and I open too much, I'm gonna come over the top. No, no. If I go to the top and I open like this, I've got to learn how to shallow my arms and hands separately. If you go to the top and you open, you say, that makes me go to the top. No, you need to learn to shallow the club, the best players. Do you see guys or gals on tour who keep their back towards the target and do this? No way, I've never seen that. They look wide open. I got guys up and down this range for the past 10 years who hit the ball really well. What do they look like? They look wide freaking open, their whole body. So 
I want you to get out of this um, idea of keep my shoulders closed. You got to drop this false idea that if I rotate my shoulders, I'm going to come over top. No, rotate your shoulders and learn how to shallow the freaking club, right? We've got a lot of videos on that. That's what the best players do. Maximum body opening and shallowing the club is how you produce speed. It's how you shallow the angle of attack. It's how you hit the ball in the middle of the face, how you hit the ball high and far. It works. It is what it is. Not debatable. So I want them wide open from there. So from the down the line, that's my deal. I'm not going to give you much more than that. From the top, I want this open right away. How do I do that? I can feel like my shirt buttons open to the target right away. There's really a race or a sequence between my hands and the club and my chest or my shoulders. And I want from the top, I want my chest and my shoulders to be opening much quicker, sooner than my arms and hands are coming down. I want my arms and hands to be slower. I want my body to be faster. I don't want this. If my arms and hands go down really fast, I don't have an opportunity to open my chest and shoulders. I want my arms and hands to go slow. I want them to open. That is part number one. The second part of how to rotate um, through impact is what sort of tilt should you have or not. So when I come through, should my shoulders be uh, level? Should they be really bent over or some amount in between? You know, as a stock model, some of the things in golf that have been um, said over the years is that your shoulders will turn 90 degrees to your spine. So if I make a backswing, my shoulders would turn 90 degrees to my spine, I would level them out, and then they would turn 90 degrees to my spine on the way through. That shoulder, how much should your shoulders be tilted? There's different ways to do it. Okay, so I'm going to give you the answer of um, when you come down, there's ways where you can do it more level at work, there's in between, and there's more. I would lean towards having a decent amount of shoulder tilt. Now, how you're going to do that when you come down, I'm wide open here. How do I add more tilt? Through right side bend. I'm doing like a little side crunch this way. I'm not doing a tilt like this. That's just me tilting back with no rotation. I'm going to open and add right side bend to get my right shoulder down. So my right shoulder is going down through right side bend, not this way. Okay, so we're going to go from face on. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. Um, what I want you to understand and take away are those key points. Open as much as you can. Open your chest right away. Open your shoulders right away. Learn to shallow the club. You do want to have a little tilt. It will be done through right side bend. Let's talk a little bit more about that from face on. All right, guys, so let's talk from face on about rotating the chest and the shoulders. I'm going to begin this part by hitting a couple, demonstrating, going through my feels, and then we'll talk more. Now, when I'm working on rotating my chest and shoulders, essentially my feels are this, right? So I'm feeling during my downswing, I think my chest and shoulders completely turned, completely turned towards the target as I'm extending into my follow through with my arms and hands still feeling like they're behind me. These are my feels. I'm here, right? I'm up at the top. My chest and my shoulders and arms are getting all the way open as soon as humanly possible. So I'm going to demonstrate one or two with those feels. All right, so that feels to me like my chest and my shoulders and all that are wide open. Now, something else that helps me and helps other people too is where my neck and my eyes go. If I say I want your upper body open sooner, where my eyes go in space are going to dictate where my neck goes, and that's going to dictate part of where my spine can turn. I like the eyes getting turned towards the target sooner, right? The old Annika Sorenstam, David Duvall, Henrik Stenson. The eyes going up at the target helps with the rotation. So I feel when I'm rotating through, my chest is going, my shoulders are going, my eyes are going. Again, from here, you're looking for the same pieces, right? I'm at the top, and how do I do this? Right away, I'm opening up. I'm getting my eyes out. I'm getting my chest out. I'm getting my shoulders out before my arms and hands kick through. And again, there will be some of the right side bend, that right ab crush that we've talked about before. But mainly, I'm looking at that. Here, chest out, eyes out, shoulders out. Everything up and open into the follow through before my arms and hands come through. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. We're going to wrap this up with the rain, a little bit of chest turn, rotation, shoulders to impact. Open everything early. Learn how to shallow the club separately. There will be some tilt to it, but don't be afraid to open up. If you open up and that causes problems, learn to shallow it separately. If you guys have any comments or questions, just leave us a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like the video, please do me a favor and click the like button. 
click the notification bell if you haven't, and also please subscribe. Again, another reminder, Cogorno Golf, our membership site is up and live. The link will be in the description down below. Thank you guys. Hi, I'm Eric Cogorno. We're excited to share Cogorno Golf with you guys. Here's some of what you'll get. First, an on-demand video library of over 100 instructional videos that cover everything. I'm talking setup, backswing, downswing, impact, short game, putting, and much more. Premium members will also have access to exclusive over-the-shoulder lessons where you'll watch me working on the lesson tee one-on-one -on -one with a student live. I'll be helping students not only through mechanical elements, but also through feels and drills they'll need to improve. We're providing a wide array of content, tools, and interaction points to help you get better. Plans will be starting at $19 per month.